Welcome back to the channel. We're out on a uh, not cooling to desire temperature call. This is an install that we did last year. Um, it's a uh, 18 sear 5 stage Bryant Evolution heat pump system. And uh, when we got the equipment, there was, see if I can see it here, this low pressure switch here looked like it had been brazed in after it came out of the factory Let's see there we go so right there this first switch you see right there with the two wire or the one black wire coming out it's actually two wires and a jacket come out of the top of this large copper tube that's a suction line looked like it had been brazed in and when we got done pulling a vacuum on the line set in the air handler and open up our valves there was no refrigerant in this system so um we found that that braze was still leaking and we repaired that and we pulled a vacuum and apparently a uh, something has started leaking since then it's been about nine months and uh i used bubble solution an electronic leak detector went over the entire condenser entire air handler um made sure it wasn't a sensor error because it was shutting the unit down on a low pressure lockout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recover the refrigerant out of the system, weigh it out, see how much is in there, see uh, how that compares to what the factory weigh-in was on the data label here, which is 13 pounds. And then we will isolate the condenser, put a nitrogen charge on it, let it sit, however long it takes, about 30 minutes, if the pressure hasn't dropped at all, we'll assume that the condenser is okay and then we'll do the same thing with the copper lines up to the air handler. And uh, if it's in that section, we're more than likely gonna have to seal off the air handler, cut the line set basically loose from it, uh, braze in some Schrader valves and pressurize that coil to see if it's the coil or the line set. This is the uh, hard way to find a leak. So we'll get started with this recovery. I'm going to guess that it's the line set, but we're going to find out because uh, a customer opted not to do the line set when we did the install. Um, we always present that as an option when it's the correct size, and the old unit was the same refrigerant. But uh, I've seen it where when they're in these chases like this, the vibration uh, rubs the copper tubing together and you'll get a hole in it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to close off the condenser with the service valves there. We're going to use the true suction port to push nitrogen into the condenser, monitor that pressure, and then we're going to put nitrogen into the line set and the air handler. Um, and then if we determine that it's leaking from the line set and the air handler, we'll go in and cut the copper tubing at the air handler and we'll braze it shut. We'll recharge these lines and that'll tell us whether or not the line set is leaking. So I'll go through that process now. All right, so we got the nitrogen in and we've got our low pressure hose hooked up to the true suction port and our high side hose hooked up to the liquid port, which is we've got the line set and the air handler isolated from the condenser. So 
these valves are closed that exposes these ports to the line set and the air handler and the only way to access the pressure or the refrigerant system in the condenser is through the true suction port we don't have anything hooked up to the low side we could have hooked this to the low side it was just you know i chose to do it this way as long as the hose is on true suction and you've got your other hose on either the suction or the liquid line you can do this now i added nitrogen to the low side and the high side i wasn't trying to get the pressures the same so we're just making sure this number stays where it is and this number stays where it is this is the line set in the air handler side this is the condenser side and we're just coming off of a heating season so a lot higher pressures uh, probably getting up close to 400 psi sometimes so i'd at least suggest getting around 200 psi for this type of test or higher go up to 250. but we'll sit here and give this about uh 10 15 minutes and we'll check back in all right it's been 15 minutes and we're here which this is 0.2 lower and this is actually 0.3 higher hey well what are we figuring out so uh that pressure test didn't show anything so i'm going to push the pressures up uh around 350 we're going to leave it for another 15 minutes see what happens um the uh low side on that last test was actually reading 0.3 higher and the high side which is the line set in the air handler was reading 0.2 lower and that's just really not enough for me to feel like there's a leak um, and then this is more than likely just some non-condensables in the line that are equalized equalizing out the pressure but if it continues to drop at that rate we'll know for sure that there's a leak all right so pretty sure it's uh this side the pressure dropped down like 50 psi continued to fall so we're gonna cut the lines loose here where they're coming up to the air handler and then we're gonna braze them shut make sure my mic's connected here yep All right, we're done with that. Now, we have separated the air handler from the line set. And it's sealed off all the way back to these service ports on the condenser. So now we'll take, pressurize those again. If it holds, the air handler has an issue. If it doesn't, the line set has an issue. Pretty simple. Um, I can't hear anything and the rate that that was leaking, you should be able to hear that. So I'm pretty confident it's in the line set, but we're gonna verify it. All right, well, line set pressure is holding. I'm gonna take this setup inside. I've already brazed in. Um, already brazed in a Schrader port and sealed the coil off. So we'll take the nitrogen and gauges inside and take a look 
at that. So here we are, this is where we sealed off the line set. And now we've sealed off the air handler. I'll raise this Schrader valve in. Yeah, the Schrader valve just fell out of, so we'll put that back in, pressurize it, and see what happens. So we isolated everything and <laughs> pressure's not dropping on anything um, except for that one time when we had the air handler coil and the line set in by isolating everything. I can't get it to so we're just going to go ahead and replace the line set. Don't have time today so we'll pick back up tomorrow on replacing this line set and pulling a vacuum. Hopefully that'll uh, take care of the leak. All right, so we're back out here today. Um, it's been about, I don't know, a little over 24 hours since we were out here and added the nitrogen to the unit. So we're back today with a line set. But first, we're gonna confirm whether or not uh, the pressure has dropped in the condenser, the line set, and the evap coil. So after checking all the pressures, it was the liquid line, copper line, out of breath, I've been pulling this thing out. And uh, that's how much we pulled out so far. But I finished pulling this out. All right, so we got the line pulled through. Already put a bend in this. Now I got to cut a piece to bend to get over here. I'm gonna raise this out and then connect that. Bring the torches.
So we got the nitrogen in the condenser. I'm about to release to purge this first vacuum I pulled. Pete. Sir. Hey, we gotta insulate this line. Yeah. Yeah. With either the insulation that was in here or what was on the rest of that uh, other copper plate. Pulling a vacuum. Got the uh, refrigerant going in now. It's supposed to take 13 pounds and then doing a calculation on the extra line set that we put in. We're going to put in another, I think, nine and a half ounces. So we're going to do 13 pounds, nine and a half ounces. Thank you for calling Prime. This is Peter. Banana. All right, that wraps that up. Um, this rarely happens. I think I can count on one hand the number of times we've had a line set leak in the uh, almost 20 years I've been doing this. This happens to be one of them. So got that swapped out and uh, everything's good to go please give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this if there's something in particular you want to see us cover uh post a comment see y'all next time